So Ian sent me a message on YouTube asking for more Distec information. Um, his message was, uh, are you doing any more Distec videos? And it, about transferring GFX to Workbench or vice versa and how we would do that. So I've got connected to my system a GFX controller. I don't know at this moment in time where it is. So let's minimize that and run Express Utility. And that will tell me where the controller is. Find devices. And it is on IP address 0 0.36. So let's have a quick web view of that. Opening the web browser. It's going to ask me to log in. I think it will be default, which is admin tistec1234. And it is it's about the control of a host ID, ECYS1000. It's connected to the internet. And that's the network using DHCP. You've also got wireless and you've got diagnostic, but I'm just interested in the IP address of that. It's a backnet capability. Device ID is set at one. One user. I presume I've got software on this from the last job that I did. And that's about it. Um, the firmware version 1.18. I think that's um, a bit old. You don't update it there unless you've got the file, which I don't have the file. So we're not going to update it there. I go back to this. And then I can click on that controller and update from the server. Choose file. Where is the file for that? I presume browse this tech controls. Mm. No, it's not there. So I can't update it from that. I'll leave it with the version I've got at the moment. Eclipse version 1.2. Let's launch the program. Come on, load up. Oh, here we go. thinking about it right what was this job some bedroom sensors there a time clock time clocks and room sensors not much logic in there is there Let's go and open up another file. In fact, that's what's on this controller. Import those projects. What's this one? I don't want to save current project. 
comm sensor net airflow set point VPAC okay so this is a VAV valve isn't it I think this is yeah this is a VAV valve that I was working on on a site that's my latest that I've got here so that's not going to really be any good for me because this tech do their own VAV valves file project Oops. file I want to import I should have somewhere I'm going to put you on pause and let me see if I can find it right I found them all on my Dropbox so I had to download it so there's quite a few files there GFX files let's just pick one of them AHU we need to open that with uh, the software which is there that one there and we go file what's happening here cancel file can't import anything into that one let's close that down let's close everything down cancel come on load up file import import from file and it's now in my drive D no it's not downloads 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 users I will get there and we were doing an AHU weren't we AHU no I don't want to save the cover project okay well that's quite nothing in it as such file import load from file let's find another one uh, fan coils fan coils no let's load this one up let's see what it's about fan speed controls temperature control fabric protection okay let's just close all that lot out and I'll open up Niagara let me just put you on pause let's see if we can connect to this controller so this was a station I did last time on YouTube video 101 I think it was so I'm going to try and bring in some backnet points if there is any which I'm sure there will be with it being native backnet anyway with this tech controller so we need to set up backnet and I know backnet's not going to be set up on this so we need to first of all set up backnet on Niagara so that just you can see how we do that oh, there's going to be backnet over IP that we need oh I think this edge automatically loads backnet controllers let's see backnet Backnet, Backnet Network. Let's see if we get any errors. No, we don't. So that's good. And then 
we need to set up the back net wrong control wrong network so we'll put that as an ID as a 62957 and location Niagara M4.8 yep M4.8 it is software and then we go into BACnet comms network IP network number one we'll leave it as it is we we'll link it to the adapter that one save and then actions enable that seems to be happy let's go to back network I don't want the links dispatch operation it's alright I, I do have some Honeywell stuff and you normally won't get that you will get back net device manager or AX I'll use AX discover see if we can discover anything on network one hopefully we can discover the this tech controller Yes, 192.168.0.36, this tech controls, yes, 1000, bring that across, it's because it's set to Linux, sorry about that, let me take that, see the type, backnet Linux, backnet device, so I brought that across, let's see what points we've got on it, let's go over points. Quite a few points. They're all nans because there's nothing's connected to it. Mm, set points there, but let's just drag the 68 objects there. Let's just drag them across. <coughs> Drop them in here. So that's the disk tech across now to the Niagara via the back network. And we can go to view them points, that's the station there. Views wire sheet. And then let's see what we can do is we can discover the schedulers from it. We can. Let's take them and bring them across. And that's about it. So that's us bringing them back across to that controller. So from the disk tech to the Niagara. Doesn't like them. Read only's. Let's delete them. Looks values there. Closet space. So everything that you put on a disk tech controller normally is all linked to BACnet and we can read the values back. And we are with that, that's read only. Reading them all back. I think that's it for that video for you. Just showing you how to bring in the Niagara points, uh, the disk tech points into a Niagara system via BACnet. And it's actually the opposite way around. So if we've got a BACnet object on here, we can then bring that back. And in order to do that, normally what you do is your local device there, we go in the export table and we discover a device on the N4 controller, which hasn't got many here. So let's just take them two. We put them in there, and that makes them now available for reading back to the disk tech. If you want to take that one, for example, and want to override that one, we will set that to a binary output, backnet binary output value disk. Backnet, back, backnet binary output and then we'll give it what we want to for them to read or, or write to it and they can write to it on an intent 
normally I would set it as an inline. So, use wire sheet, that's the point there, and they can write to that and change it from the disc tech now. We've already put the point in there, so we can read them points. Analog input 0 and 1, and they can write to binary output 0 on in 9 from the disc tech. Right, thank you for watching.